Good morning. Uh, my name is Ricardo, and I will talk to you, like Mark said, about reliability analysis of wave binary converters. Um, well, the outline of the presentation first, just uh, just really brief background of wave, wave energy in the UK, the LCOE of wave, why reliability, and uh, explain that briefly the methodology of our analysis, and then present the analysis itself and future work. Well, here, uh, first, just the graph or image of uh, wave energy in, in UK, where basically everything, well, most of it comes from the Atlantic to the west. The Irish island is reduced in the Irish Sea and the North Sea, so the most attractive area is around here, where the wave is potentially up to 14 percentage of um, where the UK consumption is per year. Then the breakdown of the of wave. Uh, we can see like the expense, the, the cost of it compared with other technologies and we can see the the operation and maintenance. If we break down the cost of it, the operation and maintenance is 25% of, of it, which involves like reliability, so it's a big part of it. Uh, here's a graph of, uh, well this is onshore wind, uh, wind turbines. Uh, failure rates and downtimes. They were like the survey, the, the, the gather information during 13 years. We can see um, the what the importance of uh, not to focus only on failure frequency because we can see, for example, the generator cubes they have a low and of uh, and of failure frequency, but the downtime per failure is very big. Okay? So it's very important to focus on in, in the both and reliability. Um, yeah, well, the methodology of uh, the research we're doing is uh, we're following a Delrum approach that she made similar uh, analysis for, for Tidal. So basically it consists of uh, classifying the wave energy devices in, into generic ones. Now, then the ones you classified, you can um, survey the reliability data from other databases like Red and the military handbooks. It's important thing that these databases are meant for different. The, they were made for other devices, not for marine energy or wind. So the the proper data it's not like uh, meant for these operational conditions of wave. So it's just for useful for uh, comparison values in general. Then we make the reliability diagrams using the data we obtain from databases, and then we can get the information the overall uh, field rate to compare with within devices. As again, because the information is the data available is it's uh, for different um, applications. Well, first uh, we we get the ocean energy. Europe classification, we classified the, all the wave energy converters into eight. In this presentation, we will mention a little bit about the point absorber and the oscillator work on, but yeah, just basically this, are classified all of them. Uh, once we have the classification of the, of the generic wave energy converters, we can divide them into six main sub-assemblies, which are structure, power takeoff, electrical system, the voltage power supply and corrosion management and grid connection. We can assume that the, la uh, the latest four, the last four, are um, really similar between these two devices, the point absorber and the wave uh, oscillator work column. So it is assumed that they use the same technology and therefore the failure, uh, failure rate will be the same, the failure values will be, be the same. The main changes or the main difference will be in the structure and the, and the power takeoff, depending on the device. The point absorber, um, well, they has some, um, you, could, you could use the power takeoff of a direct drive in the generator, or can use a hydraulic system. That's where the, the main difference will, will be in the, in, the, in, the, in the point absorber, because the structure will be basically the same. Well, here you have uh, the <coughs> reliability block diagram for the point absorber, as we mentioned. We can have the 
the subassemblies that we mentioned in the previous slide, the electrical system, with connection, and we can see this is showing um, direct drive um, power takeoff of the structure. This is with the, with the hydraulic system. As we can see, it's more uh, complex compared to with the linear generators, so theory should be had a higher uh, failure rate because it's more, had more components on it. Um, yeah. With the oscillating uh, water column, the power takeoff is uh, use a wall turbine, and uh, the structure is uh, it could be shoreline or um, a floating. So that's where we can uh, basically the, the reliability will change in the structure rather than the power takeoff like the point absorber. That, okay. We can have here the 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 relevant diagram for the floating oscillating uh, water column. You see the structure is more complex here. This is the the power takeoff, and this is for the shoreline. The one is in in, in harbor, for example. So the structure is worth like, way less complex than the than the previous one. So the the point of focus here is in the structure. Once we have the the diagram, we can get the, the, the values from other database that we mentioned before. Um, so the reliability is a function of the number of, of components. So when you have less components in the assembly, you should have a lower value here. It's important again to say that these values are for, from other databases, so we need to take advantage of that. It has to be applied, like for some environmental factors, uh, to proper apply them to to the to the analysis we're doing with wave uh, with energy devices. And we can see, for example, um, like we mentioned before, the like these two, these four are are the same for all of them, except the grid because it is fixed to the to the shoreline, so it doesn't have a very uh, value. These are uh, all the same. Um, within the oscillating water column, the structure was the one that changed, so it's simpler, the one is fixed, so that's why the value is lower, and the structure within the point of are the same. The power takeoff, where you, they, they both um, use the wall turbine, so it's, it's the same, and this one is the direct driver, so you can see this is lower in the three of them. This is a more complex one, the hydraulic one is, has more components, so it's higher. This is very close also, because it has power converter, so the reliability goes, the value goes up. Mm, yeah, so this is basically it. Then uh, this uh, failure mode effect analysis was performed, where the first column is the probability factor, the second column is the consequence factor, and this uh, value goes from, from one to five, where one is, um, very unlikely to, to, to happen. The number five is the highest one. Like it will, it will, it will mean that it will stop the, the device to work, like to shut down. Um, and the criticality factor is basically multiplication of these two. For most of them, a value of, a value of three was given for probability factor or consequence factor, so it's likely to happen. And for five, like I mentioned before, is so basically the red ones are the one that if they fail, they, they will stop like uh, the, the machine. So the analysis was performed from hydraulic components, electrical generated components, and the wall turbine. Uh, here we can see that this, the, the one we have um, a red one, like because the multiplication of this, they basically will stop. The yellow ones will not stop it, but the performance will be lower for the hydraulic components. For the electrical generator, um, these three are related, so if one of them fail, it would make the, the consequence, like for example, the coils to fail, and that will make the, the, the components to, well, the, the overall system to shut down. The same with the wall turbine. Like in the structure, basically. Um, 
well, yeah, the limitation of this analysis is uh, like I mentioned before. Uh, there's not much. Um, this, there's not much data available regarding from from wave energy components under the 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 loads or this the environmental factors related as well, and the values from this in this here they don't reflect the 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 real values. We need to still um, get into consideration the environmental factors and the. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, and the conclusion is basically this analysis. It's worth to to get to know uh, the comparison between the the, the assemblies, the sub assemblies, and we can focus uh, where it's more uh, our attention to, to require to focus on. And um, um, to to identify the critical components and then do more to make further analysis on them. Future work we have to cover um, all, of, all of the generic classific the devices and the classification. We have to do research into the environmental factors to get to apply to them and, and to focus on the critical components that we saw in the graphs, graphics. So I think that's it. Thank you. This production is brought to you by the University of Edinburgh.